First, our top local story, players suspended, shoves, punches, hair pulling, and a whole lot of yelling. This was the scene as two soccer teams got into a brawl on and off the field. Now the athletes and coaches involved learn their punishment. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Pito joins us with details on how long the girls will be benched and reaction from other classmates. Nine players and two coaches were suspended, and at least one player will miss up to a year. No comment about who received the stiffest punishment, and the districts and schools can add to the penalties. These two students run track and cross country at Tolman and have yet to see the video. They agree that the two players in the middle of the fight should be punished, but they're not sure about the other seven suspensions. If you look at that video, can you see anybody throwing punches except for the first two girls? No, everyone else was just trying to break it up. Like, everyone went and just tried to pull them apart. No, they definitely shouldn't have gotten suspended. That's it's not fair at all. No comment from the Interscholastic League about why any non-punching players were suspended or how many were suspended for a year. One of the players who received one of the stiffer penalties is in one of his classes. She was pretty upset because, well, she can't play sports, and now that's just it just doesn't look good on anything. The principal from Woonsocket High blames the players, but also parents and the media. We see people fighting, we see violence. Kids mimic that type of behavior. They internalize it and they perceive that type of behavior as part of the normalcy. Do you think that has a role in whether or not you get in a fight on a field? No, I don't, not at all. I mean, I watch fights all the time. That doesn't make, it doesn't motivate me to, to fight one of my teammates or someone else. I mean, No one from the Interscholastic League would comment on camera. With the Mobile Newsroom in Pawtucket, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.